Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a fantastic day today as always and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode we were trying to find some help because we were stranded in the Obsidian Fieldlands right after we got kicked of the Jubilee Village and the Galaxy team by our commander himself, Kamado. We tried to find a few wardens, they couldn't help us. Then who turns out to help us? It's Volo of course, he always appears and disappears. By the way, I just want to explain something. If you can hear a drilling noise in the background, um, I do want to apologize about that because there is some construction work happening in my neighborhood area and I can't really do anything about it. Yeah, I, I do want to apologize for that. So yeah, Volo helped us by taking us to one of his acquaintances, I guess. I don't know their relationship, but it's a woman called Kogira, Mistress Kogira. I don't know who exactly it is, but she's a nice woman for now. At least she seems nice. She told us that one thing we can do, and probably the only thing we can do, is craft the red chain, which is an item that is needed to restore the world somehow. I don't know what it does exactly. In order to craft this item, we need to visit the three lake guardians and each one of them uh, is located around the history region in the three lakes. I think one of them is in the Obsidian Fieldlands, the one that we did. Then there was one in the Crimson Islands, and the final one is... I don't remember, but you get what I mean. There are three lakes in the history region that we need to visit. And each guardian has a trial for us, which I think it's the same for every guardian. So the one we did with Mesprit, we had to defeat an Alpha Gudra, which was a bit tough, but definitely doable. And I think it's going to be the same for all three Guardians. Like, we have to defeat three Alpha Pokemon in the each of the trial, or one in each trial and three in total, you know. Today, we'll definitely be trying to do that, uh, finish at least the last two. I honestly don't know what's going to happen next. Um, I'm hoping to see a legendary Pokemon soon enough, maybe Arceus. I mean, the game is called Pokemon Legends Arceus. I am expecting to see Arceus at some point. I don't know if I'm crazy for thinking that. But yeah, anyway, let's get started. Ah, this is the area that uh, Mr. Skogira lives. There she is, sitting in her tea table. I think the area is called Ancient Retreat. It seems nice, peaceful. But Mr. Skogira has to be a bit lonely, right? I hope she feels alright. It seems kind of lonely here. Right, I think the next one... Oh, okay, it says it right here on the missions. The third one is gonna be in the Alabaster Islands. And I can actually clearly see that on the map. But there is a lake on the top of the map. But we will be going to the second in row, which is in the Crimson Islands. And I think it's gonna be the Lake Valor. Okay, I activated the mission and it is called Lake Valor, the location. Let's get our hands on the Braviary, like this. And let's go. Here is a lake. Do you know about Lake Valor? It's said to have been formed by a volcanic eruption, much like Lake Verity. Though there are also other theories that say it was carved out of in the midst of a Pokemon battle. This lake is protected by the Pokemon Azel. When Azel took flight, the will to do what needs doing was born in people's hearts, or that is what legend would have us believe. Oh, someone's calling again. I think it's gonna be the scanner to open the cave like the other time. Yep, there it is. Scanning, scanning. Boom, magic. <laughs> it's so funny how it just opens up. Oh, a cave appears where there was none, as if just for Zero Suit. Let's set it, Zero Suit. I imagine strong Pokemon could wait inside. Protecting the Pokemon of the lake. Take care. What an eerie space. Why would there be columns inside a cave? Anyway. <gasps> what is that? I actually don't know. What? I've never seen a Pokemon before. Okay, I want to see the Pokemon's name at least. Maybe I recognize its name. Watch yourself, Zerosu. Those squirrels look vicious. Oh god, um, it looks to be a water type or a poison type. So in that case, I guess I can use Luxray? I don't know. I'm just gonna guess. 
That might be a water type. So I can use luck to trick. Ishimi! Who the hell is this? Let's see. Can I have a name, please? Overquill. Ooh, I don't know actually. It's probably the evolution of a Pokemon that I know. Let's paralyze this guy. I think I'm gonna actually try catching it if it lets me do that with an Ultra Ball. Because it is an Alpha Pokemon. Oh, nice! I can. Okay. Hopefully, we can catch it since I have no idea what it is. Nope. Alright. Um, interesting. Thank God I paralyzed it. That was a great job of me. Oh, it's a dark poison type. All right. I'll just keep throwing Ultra Balls, trying to catch it. Come on, man, please. I really want you. Yay! Okay. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so happy. Is it time to meet Azov now? Maybe. I knew you could do it, seriously. Oh, here he comes. Or she? I don't know what gender it is. He looks cute anyway. Show to me a yielding will. Strike me if you can. What? Huh? Okay, this is different. Wait, bombs? Are you meant to try to hit us up to them? Then? Uh, what? How? Am I missing something? How am I supposed to hit it? Is it teleports? You seem to hear a voice inside your head. Will you abandon this for me? Uh, nope. I will still continue. I definitely want to try catching it. Or hitting it at least. Oh! Nope. Missed. Oh! Nope. Missed. Oh, that's not good. You seem to hear a voice. Yeah, yeah, I know. It seems you had best give up. Will you continue regardless? Yes. I need to show willpower. Bravery. But I don't think I can actually hit it. Well, it teleports too quickly. There's no way. I need to, like, pre-fire. <laughs> Okay, give up your struggle in vain. Will you yet press on? Yes. I think I need to show perseverance or what, what do you call it? You know what I mean. What? Uh, hello? Dude, Azov. Um, something's wrong here. Okay, what is. Did I do anything wrong? I don't know what's going on here. Oh! Uh, Okay, maybe it glitched before. Oh, that was weird, wasn't it? Oh, they changed text now, I think. Or maybe not. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Hey, there we go, I knew it. We needed to show perseverance and willpower. Azul's Fang. Nice. Bye-bye! That looked exhausting, but only one more to go now. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. It's the evolution of Quillfish. It becomes over Quill. Okay, I get it now. I might have seen this before, I just don't remember it. No. I assume all went well, Zero Suit. Still, I must wonder. Why don't they just give us the red chain? Why all this running about? Perhaps they mean to test whether whoever seeks it is worthy. Perhaps you are right. Who knows what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands, after all. Though, on the other hand, what use would those wrong hands have for it? Who can say for sure? Maybe the red chain has some other use besides mending the world. Yeah, maybe. The red chain is as mysterious as the entire predicament we're in. 
and if we continue visiting the lakes, we will get closer to an answer. So, shall we return to Mr. Togida's home? Yes, let's go and report real quickly. Wonderful. Then we can see if Mr. Skogira has any more insights to share with us. Yeah! So that's Azel Sang. I sense a wolf to it. I do have to wonder if anyone else has ever completed the trials of this lake Pokemon. Indeed, yet we may want to add just a dash more speed. Things in Jubilee Village are tense. What makes you say so? It seems a Pokemon's been glimpsed on the other side of the rift. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants informed me that Commando Kamado has raised a force not to serve the Pokemon but to subdue it. Should their need arise? One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants? You make it sound as if you're not one of them. <laughs> True. Now if, if, a Pokemon truly were to appear from beyond the rift, what would become of everyone, I wonder? Don't let his great fastness stop you, Zirosu. Let's go get the final item we need. That's the spirit. I'll come watch the historic moments unfold, too. Watch? Is that all you really do? Remember. Once you've sought the third lake and found what's needed for the right chain, make for the Shrouded Ruins. The Shrouded Ruins, you say? I don't know where that is at the moment. Alright, so this should be the final lake we need to visit. Ooh, there's some Mistrevious there. That's a cool Pokemon that I want. Oh, it's so us. Damn it. Hey, there we go. We got it. I apologize for getting a bit sidetracked here. <laughs> I just saw this hole in the Icelands. I thought it was interesting. <laughs> so I went there. It, it only took like five minutes. It's fine. Hey, we caught an Avalag as well. I didn't know there would be a normal Avalags here. That's interesting. Okay, here we are once again. Let's see what Axie is up to. Here we are, Lake Aquiri. You know, I've been told it actually contains seawater as well. Nobody knows why, though. It could be a fluke of geography, or perhaps it's connected. To a Pokemon somehow. Lake Aquidi is protected by the Pokemon Axie. When Axie took flight, the knowledge to solve problems was born in people's minds. That's what the story is saying anyway. Oh. It's scanning time again. Scanning, scanning. And bam. Just like that, huh? <laughs> a tool that can make caves simply appear from nowhere is quite a handy one to have. I wonder what waits inside. I imagine there may be Pokemon in there, protecting a lake's guardian. Take care. Yep, I will be. I sense a chill in the air. What is this? <gasps> what is that? Okay, it's... Oh my god, it's so beautiful. What is it? What? Could could that be the dreaded Baneful Fox? What is a Baneful Fox? I've never seen this thing before. Okay, I definitely want to catch this one. But I have no idea what it is. What? Oh, it's a Zorwar? I see. That actually makes sense a little bit. Let's see what type it is. It's a normal ghost. Oh, it's a normal ghost. It's not affected. Oh my god, that's so powerful. If it's normal slash ghost. Wow, okay. That's quite interesting. I hope I don't kill it. Please. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. Now I definitely want to catch it though. It makes sense to be a Zorar. But it's like the lighter version of Zorar. It's the, and it's also definitely a Hisuian form. Let's not forget about that. My god, it's so beautiful. Oh, I really want it. Please. Please tell me I can catch it. Yay! Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yes. The 
the painful thoughts that is upon one said to be filled with malice. We were told stories about it as children. <laughs> okay. And Axie seems to be appearing, right? Yep, there it is. Looking as cute as ever. Trial time. What is this gonna be now? Come, I will test your knowledge. Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. Um, okay, five Pokemon here. This is gonna ask if they have something in common? Maybe. How many are their eyes? Ooh. Wait, what? Tell me each one by one, yet all at once? Answer me. Wait, can you repeat that actually? Yeah. Okay, Kombi has six eyes. Zubat has two eyes? I don't know. Unknown has... Uh, I think it has one eye. Magneton has three eyes, I think. And Vascos has one eye, so it's one, two, one, three, one. I think. Okay. Ready. Oh. One, two, one, three, one. Right? Oh, wait! I'm so bad. Okay. I forgot. Combi has six eyes. Jeez. So it's six, two, I think it was one. Three, one, right? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, I think I'm having a mistake with Kombi. No, Kombi has six eyes. Oh, wait a minute. The Zubat doesn't have any eyes, right? I think I remember that from somewhere. Um, let's test it. I think that might be the case here. So it's six, zero. One, three, I think, and one. Right? Yes. Haha, -ha, that was it. Oh my god, that's a trick. That is a tricky trick right there. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Oh my, thank you, kind sir. Axis Claw. Hell yeah. See ya. Amazing. You've healed all three trials of the lakes. You really are a wonder. Alright. Thank you. <laughs> it seems we've finished the three lake trials. If I remember correctly, we were told to then head for the Shrouded Ruins. I don't know what could await us there, but I'm always excited to explore some ancient ruins. Let us be on our way. Yeah, I do know that, Polo. Always going on about ruins and stuff. Um, I think I've been here once before. I don't remember. The Shrouded Ruins. Mist is so very good at obscuring things. It's long been said to blur boundaries. Uh -huh. If we were to somehow bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, then maybe we need a setting such as this. That being said, what are we meant to do now? Seems I've made it in time. Oh, hello. You arrived just when we assembled all three gifts. Did you somehow see our progress across the distance dividing us? I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. Which is... Could you mean a Pokemon that flits about the history region? Ah, but never mind that now. What about the red chain? How did we forge it? I would hardly know. <laughs> we speak of a divine instrument, one said to be capable of finding in the very world. Do you really imagine it can be forged by mortal hands? Then what are we to do? Search the entire vastness of history for the answer? Oh. Hello? What was that? 
Oh, the lake guardians. <laughs> ah, the Pokemon of the lakes. They are doing something. Maybe they are going to have the chain? Oh, okay, I was actually right about that. <laughs> nice, <laughs> thanks, I guess. And there we go. <laughs> that was quick. So it was true. The pact our people have passed down all these generations has been kept. At last, I can set the burden at sight. You succeeded once again, Zero Suit. Yet, things do not seem to be going so well for the rest of the world. What have you heard now? I've heard some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. It seems that the commander is going to forego waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Coronet himself. Has he lost his senses? <laughs> he plans to get close to the rift? To study it himself? Well, he doesn't yet know that our Zero Suit has managed to get the right chain. Now, does he? That's true. There's no way he could. We need to tell him about the chain and about everything Zero Suit has achieved before he sets out. Um, yes. Let's go to Jubilee Village then, right? Oh, we are actually back. Okay. Hello, Akira. What's up? Zero Suit? <laughs> that was surprising. Welcome back. It's been grim here. We in the Survey Corps hardly even speak to one another lately. But with you back, maybe Captain Selene's appetite for potato mochi will return. Anyway, wait here a minute, will you? I'll go and let the Captain know you're back. Okay, I'm waiting. Oh, now it's done. Oh, my dear Zero Suit. The Professor has been awfully worried about you, Zero Suit. Of course I was worried, but I don't think I could hold a candle to the distress you showed, Akari. Th that's blowing it out of proportion. I don't think it's appropriate for an adult to make things up just to hide their embarrassment. But, um, where is the captain? Wasn't she coming along with you, Professor? She's buried under a mound of work, I'm afraid. We're to join her in the Survey Corps office. It seems her hands are more than full now that Commander Commando's gone. Um, but we already know that, right? Well, he set out to Mount Coronet with the security corps in tow. He's determined to handle the whole space-time rift business himself, including dealing with the Pokemon that's been spotted on the other side. That's why I was filling in for the regular guards, with Pikachu at the ready. Well, we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the captain. So you managed not to die, just as I ordered. Well done. Thanks. I have no idea what you're implying. All I know is Amra vanished on its own record, inconveniencing me great. <laughs> yeah, sure. Before moving forward, I must ask. I assume that you are here again because you have managed to learn something of use? Yes. Go on. Okay, we explained about the red chain. A legendary tool said to bind the very world. Commander Kamado is no longer here in Jubilee Village. The security corps has been scouting the area near the space-time rift, and they report sightings of something on the other side of it, something that resembled a Pokemon. The commander made the decision to take the security corps to the mountain so as to prepare to fend off any possible threat. They were to make for the temple at the peak. However strong the commander himself may be, he should have called the zero suit to help. As the captain of the service corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Zero suit, 
Take the thread chain to Mount Coronet, make your way to the peak, and put an end to all this. You are officially reinstated as your former rank. Yay! We're back. Nice. Are you certain you can do that with the commander away, Captain? Probably, yeah. If he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he should have not left me in charge here. Then I'll go as well. We're all in this together, we members of the Serbic Corps. Naturally, no one suggests you should not. <laughs> Alright. What? What? I'm so confused now. There's a Lucario just standing in the halls. Is no one gonna mention anything? I'm not going crazy, right? I am seeing this as well. It also has a request for us. Alright everybody, that's gonna be it for today's episode. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video like always. In today's episode, we finished the rest of the Lake Trials that had Anself and Axie. And we also managed to capture the rest of the Alpha Pokemon. One of them was Over Quill, which seems like a nice poison dark Pokemon. And the other one is this beautiful beast over here, which is the Hisuian Zoroark. It's absolutely, oh my god, the design of it is amazing. The only problem to all of this was that we didn't know how to actually craft the red chain after we got all of the components from each of the lake guardians. But then, as we were in trouble thinking what we could do, the guardians appeared all at once and assembled the red chain, which definitely helped a lot and saved a lot of time. Also, we could finally return to Jubilee Village and report to our commander and to our captain Celine that we have found something that can save the world. The good news is that we can finally stay back to this village. <laughs> we're not banned anymore and we're also part of the Serbic Corps as well. But the bad news is that the commander is missing. He went to the Mount Coronet to get close to the Space Time Rift because apparently a Pokemon has been peeking out of it and was sighted at the Space Time Rift. So he himself went to investigate. And I say it's bad news because what is he gonna do? He doesn't really have any Pokemon, right? So we need to go there in the next episode and try to save his ass. <laughs> and maybe also see the conclusion to the story? I think we're getting close to the end now and I'm very excited for that. So everyone, have a lovely day today and see ya.